Just hours after sweeping to victory in the French election, Emmanuel Macron already out on official duties with President François Hollande, laying a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier at the Arc de Triomphe. The two presidents, one outgoing and one incoming, side by side, commemorating the Second World War. Now, one of the first people Macron called after the vote last night was German Chancellor Angela Merkel. A source close to him said the conversation was warm, that Macron said he wants to visit Berlin quickly, and that he's determined to reinvigorate the Franco-German axis at the heart of the EU. Germany in turn saying no time should be lost in supporting France in its quest. Meanwhile, Russia changing tack in a telegram and holding out an olive branch. The Kremlin saying it wants to put mistrust aside and work with the new French leader. Members of Macron's team had accused Moscow of trying to derail their campaign with a hacking operation, something it denied. President Putin had previously supported Macron's rivals and granted far-right Marine Le Pen an audience back in March. The National Front leader putting on a brave face following her crushing defeat on Sunday and pledging to overhaul the party, aiming to make it an even stronger contender next time round. Among the changes, a new name, the first in over four decades. Despite a loss at the ballots, Le Pen scooped over 10 million votes, an historic score. As Macron gets ready to officially take over on Sunday and with parliamentary elections coming up in June, he would be wise not to underestimate Le Pen and her self-proclaimed patriots.